Man, I tell you, it's a scorcher out here today at Virginia Beach in southeastern Virginia. And today I want to start caging my tomatoes up. Some of you may already have your, your tomatoes caged, but we were on a kind of a delay uh, for the fact that we built, we're starting to build our little urban farm here and I had to do a lot of fence work and digging and pushing and pulling. So we're a little bit behind, but maybe only by three weeks or so. Now a lot of people usually buy the uh, typical traditional round uh, tomato cage. I don't have one here to show you because to me it's a waste of money to buy one and not use it. I don't like them. I think they're useless, but some people do find good applications for them. Good for them. What we build is these cages here made out of weld wire, rabbit wire per se. Some people want to call it chicken wire. While it does the same job, this is rabbit wire. And they call it rabbit wire because you can see at the bottom uh, they're exposed at, a, at one inch and then they graduate to two inch exposure and up to three and up to four. Uh, that way it keeps the little rabbits from getting in there and chewing at the base of your plants and screwing up your whole growing season. I can buy a roll of this stuff for about 15 bucks at your local hardware store. Comes on a roll like this. Now I've already made some cages out of this last year, so good thing is it hangs around for the whole season. Very simple to make. All you need is a pair of pliers and a roll of this stuff. Let's take a peek. What I do is I unroll this, and I think last year I went about 15 courses. Now what I mean by courses is each square. So here's my tie seam here. So I'll go. I uh, see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So basically, I will take this roll here and I will roll it out and cut it at 15. But there's a trick to it all because you got these tails left over and these are your tie back tails. This is what you use to tie back to the other, other side to make the cage. It's very simple. Right, now it's time to start counting and cutting. I'll start from back here on my left, with, which would be your right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15. Now I have my tails hanging out over there to tie in, so I'm going to cut on the outside. We'll see them fly up here in a minute. Alright, we've got our wire, and naturally it's going to spring back to its original form from being wrapped around the main coil all this time in its packaged uh, shelf life. But as you can see, I've got a tail. And an opening. This is where I cut off the main reel, and this is where I left off at the last time. So it's just the main, it's just a matter of hooking them through. Some people just pull them back and leave them like that. You can. And you do that at every joint. Just lay them over for now. We'll tighten them up in a minute. Okay, now that you've pushed over the tails through with the uh, with your fingers, you see all my little tails sticking up there. Take your little handy dandy pliers; it doesn't have to be anything special. I like these side cutters here; they're, they're lineman pliers, and of course, I work in the electrical industry, so just happen to have a pair. You just take those tails and give a nice little pull on them. You just cut the ends right off. You want to get at least two wraps, kind of cross over once or twice. Reach through there, cut them off. Folks, Tomato Cage 101 featuring the $1 tomato cage. $1 you're asking, well, of course, simple math. You can get about 15 cages out of that roll of uh, weld wire, about 15 bucks. That equates to a dollar to make. Installation is simple. Place right over top. Train your branches through. And that's it. They may ask where are the stakes. You don't need them. As long as you train the branches uh, when the tomato plant itself reaches the top and it starts to spill over and that's vine type uh, growth, it'll actually hold the cage down. It won't fall over like those triangular types will or anything like that. Uh, the wind won't blow them over because they'll have enough weight and as all these vines start to grow over top they'll wind up interlocking with each other, definitely solidifying the structure of the cage. Anyway, that's how we roll, this is how we like to do it. Love to stay in chat with you guys but I got about eight or nine more of these things to make to get my stuff caged up for the rest of the season. Thanks for watching scissorsanddrumsticks.com. Please feel free to leave a comment as to your Cajun and plant support practices.